Hi everyone, welcome. So today I'm going to show you the unboxing of Snow Joe electric pole saw. And this one I actually got a refurbished one from a website called Bydig. I did get a $10 off when I signed for email and SMS alert. And then I went in look for a refurbished Snow Joe electric pole saw. So it came today. It was listed for $60, $59.99, and with the $10 off, I got it for $49.99. All right, so let's get to the unboxing and see what is included in the box. So it is factory refurbished. Let's check the directions on how to assemble it. So this is a, actually a 10 inch 8 amp electric pole saw. Its model number is SWJ803 ERM. And it's a little more powerful. It's listed for $100 uh, on some Sanjo website. So uh, when I did a little bit of review, I heard Sanjo was a better pole saw than uh, most others out there which is very economical and uh, I did get it for $50. So it says using the tool, open up this cover I believe. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. There we go. It's open and unscrew the nut. Alright guys, so the first thing that you guys need to make sure is the uh, chainsaw is in the right place on this gray bar correctly. So in the picture here, it shows the direction in which it should move in. So you can see that I put it correctly and it matches the picture up here. So this is how the chain should be linked onto the gray frame that they provide. So once that is done, we need to put this onto here and this hole should go into this little sprocket. So in order to make sure it goes in, loosen this um, screw here. So once you loosen the screw here, the sprocket can, that little um, screw can move up and down. So you can put this easily. Let's go ahead and put this onto the uh, chainsaw. And again, put this chain back on. And now it's fit. And I need to go ahead and tighten this pin here. So let's go ahead and do that. And for that, to show you guys, I'm gonna turn this this way and tighten it. So now let's turn it this way again. Okay, and I'm gonna tighten it from the bottom. And when you tighten it, make sure it's not really, really tight. It should be just tight enough so that your, uh, your screwdriver or the provided uh, tool doesn't turn with not too much pressure on it. So I'm just gonna tighten enough. Okay, that should be good. So once that's tightened, it should uh, be able to rotate. If it cannot rotate, it means it's too tight. So once you are done, it should be like that. And this should move. I think I'm good. It has a little bit of play. Not much on the bottom. I'm gonna put the covers back on. And tighten down the screw. Let's go ahead and put the covers in. And that's how it would look like with the covers on. 
the one last final step that we need to do is put in some oil and this is bar chain oil that we need to purchase so I did get some so I got it from Lowe's it's called bar and chain oil for use with all chainsaws so I'm gonna add that in maybe because it's refurbished it did come with some bar chain oil already in it not sure why Once you have filled it with the bar chain oil, just go ahead and close the lid. So we are all set to go. Just put on the final cover for the nut. Our chainsaw is ready to uh, get cutting and let's take a, a demo of that. So guys, after cutting the branches, I just wanted to give you some idea on how the Sanjo pole saw worked for me. One of the things I have to say is it worked great. It was like cutting through butter. That's how I would put it. It was such an easy job. Although it is not recommended to cut branches on a ladder with a pole saw, I had to get on top to cut it and I had to use the ladder. But Everything turned out great, cut a few branches. But a couple of feedback that I have after the use of the pole saw. One is from the electric outlet, once you plug in the extension cord, it kept falling when I was up on the ladder. So it was kind of hard to, I had to come down, put it back. So basically once I put the extension cord in, I had to tape it. Once I put it in and then taped it, it was good. The other feedback that I have was once I started using it, this oil cap up on top opened up towards the end of the work. The oil, uh, what was inside, which was not much, came out. It may be because I didn't shut it properly. That could be the case. So the last feedback that I have was on the grip handle, if you notice, there were some like minor cracks, which is not uh, a big issue. Like here, I could tape it down. It's just on the pole. so. Um, it's it's the grip handle so that's the only other feedback that I have that shouldn't be a problem the other thing that I like about this uh, pole saw is that one it is electric it um, has constant power the second thing is it is an 8 amp motor chainsaw itself is a 10 inch which is larger than most out there the other thing I forgot to show was this little um, knob if you turn this you could adjust the angle so here, it shows the degrees. Right now, it's straight. I'm going to tilt it. Some of the electric saw is only straight. You cannot turn it like this. So once you turn it like this, you get an angle and you can cut your branches at that angle if you want. That is if you're standing on the ground. For my case, you know, having it straight worked out well. With that electric pole saw comes this tool, which is really handy. And if you leave it around, you might lose it. So here's what I did to keep it safe. I have the um, chainsaw protector. And to that, I actually taped uh, a black tape inside and then use regular tape around it so it'll hold properly and so now all we need to do is just insert it in. insert it in and we'll be safe this is a, a very good idea to keep the tool safe and when you need it just pull it out <laughs> 